In this uh, lecture, I'm going to show you how to configure SSH. So SSH is uh, is a protocol for managing network devices remotely. Um, it's the same. It's uh, similar to Telnet, except Telnet uh, is less secure. SSH provides uh, encryption, so it's uh, it's 100% uh, used for any uh, configuration of uh, public interfaces, and it's used now mostly for private interfaces as well. So Telnet is discouraged because it's got some security issues. Uh, it doesn't have encryption, so mostly now it's SSH that is uh, that's uh, recommended for uh, doing any uh, remote management. So in this example, I'm going to configure SSH on router two and enable it to be uh, accessed uh, with SSH protocol with a SSH um, session from host one. So I'm going to configure uh, router two, test it to make sure I can access uh, access the router and manage it. Uh, based on an SSH session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select router 2. I'm going to sign on and uh, start configuring the terminal. So the first thing I want to do with SSH is so uh, you want to make sure anytime uh, you're using SSH you want to use uh, the best security you've got available. So you want to do service password encryption to make sure any uh, passwords you've got in your configuration script are going to be encrypted. They're not readable. And uh, so I'm going to start with just that service password encryption. Then I'm going to configure a, a local authentication uh, um, account. So it'll be called Cisco, and the password will be CCNA Labs. So I want to set up a, an account because I'm going to I'm going to SSH, but I want to uh, have an account uh, locally that I can authenticate to. Then I'm going to set up a domain name because uh, SSH requires you configure a DNS domain name uh, on the device itself. It's just a, it's an SSH requirement. You have to have that so SSH can work with fully qualified domain names. And then crypto key generate is a standard command to, to uh, enable SSH with uh, creating a key, uh, encryption key. And IP SSH version 2 I'm going to use on this uh, router and just set a timeout for 60. Uh, that's a session timeout. And then set up the um, V2Y lines, login local, so I want to point to that user account that I've set up. And then on the V2Y lines, I want to say transport inpo input SSH only. So I don't want to allow Telnet. I want only to permit SSH sessions. And that's for maximum security. And then I'll just uh, session to it from, uh, from a host. So first thing I'll do is just uh, do service password encryption. And that's done. Then the next command I'm going to do is just a uh, standard username account. I want to set up a local account called Cisco and give it 100% uh, privilege. That's privilege level 15. That's the highest. And I'm going to sign a password to the account. I'll call it, uh, I guess, CCNA Labs is what I'll use. And that's configured. Now for SSH, start with my domain name. That's a requirement for uh, SSH. So just lab.cisconet.com. So that's the IP domain name. It's a DNS command. And then crypto key generate and then just RSA. RSA is an encryption. Crypto key generate RSA and just say yes to that. How many? I don't want to go 768 bits so I'll type 768 okay so done so it's now generated a, a key for encryption that's all that is. Now I want to do IP SSH uh, version 2. Use the most current version. And then just do a timeout value. And just do 60 seconds. And everything looks good there. Now the VTY lines I'm going to set up. Do the default lines. I tell it to use the 
local account that I created called Cisco with a password. You could use something like admin or you could give it some descriptive name for the account, maybe CC and engineer or something. Login local and then transport only uh, input SSH. So only allow SSH sessions on these uh, BTY lines instead of uh, Telnet because the default is to allow all protocols actually. So I'm just telling you just to use SSH. That's just permitted. So that's uh, configured. Now what I'll do is I'll go over and SSH to uh, to that device. Let's do a quick show run here. Make sure everything looks okay. So there's service. So the uh, the uh, password CCNA Labs is encrypted. That account I created, the use Cisco account, and there's my commands for SSH. Okay, so I'm gonna go to host one, desktop, and then I'll just uh, SSH and Cisco is the, the username and there's the uh, IP address of router 2. In this case I need to use so it just needs a slash there with the L and uh, password is um, CCNA labs so I'm into router 2 now on an SSH session it works just fine tell this goes through here there's the uh, SSH on the VTY line there's my SSH commands so I've got an SSH session and then so I can manage it like I would with Telnet or and there I've just exited and that uh, concludes SSH